Hey there, here are some cool things that the FL Studio Mixer can do but you probably do not know about. So the first cool feature is loading one effect on multiple inserts at once. So let's say I have auto-tune right here and I do my settings right, I have my settings and I like how it sounds on one vocal, not to copy it to multiple vocals. So instead of going to load it on each vocal and building the settings all over again, all I have to do is just highlight the parts I want to send them to and then I could just click and then drag and drop and as you can see, it's going to load up on each and every insert. Now, the second tip, and I'm surprised many people do not know this, is that you can actually change the size of your mixer. You know what I mean? We all know about this. But you know you can actually change how big your mixer looks. And this can help with visibility issues and even see more features. For example, when it's on compact and everything is so squashed, when I come to wide, you can see I have better details on everything. And, you know, I can move my mixer more freely as well. Now, if you make songs like I do in FL Studio, I'm sure you must have heard this tip where they say, always do a mono test for your mix knobs. And you come down here that has the stereo separation knob. You can see it's at the top left of my screen. And all, and all I have to do is just collapse it. When it's 100% merged, that means it's now in mono. And if I do it like this, 100% separated, that means it's now really wide, okay? 